from that to what may be the largest cluster of migrant children with COVID-19 in the entire country. It's right here in Chicago. CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli joins us live from Portage Park neighborhood. Mike, we're talking dozens of kids here. That's right, now more than three dozen, Brad. The Heartland Alliance wouldn't make anyone available to go on camera today for us, so that's why we came out here today to meet a man who also works with immigrant children who came to this country without their parents, children who now find themselves in the custody of the U.S. government. It's a rare look inside one of Heartland Human Care Service's three Chicago area shelters for unaccompanied children. But now Heartland has announced that 37 of the children in its care have tested positive for COVID-19. Our hearts go out to these children. Joe Boland has worked in similar shelters for Chicago's Catholic Extension Service all across the country. We know that this is a moment where they are uh, incredibly fearful uh, for their lives and for their futures. ProPublica reports the cluster of COVID cases in Chicago is the largest outbreak in any shelter for unaccompanied minors in the country. Heartland Alliance officials didn't want to go on camera but told CBS2 all the infected children have been moved to an isolated environment in Bronzeville. Boland understands the need for isolation, but worries that will make a difficult situation even tougher for the children. We know that the levels of stress and anxiety are so high right now for them, and so to be experiencing even more change or more disruption to their life uh, just adds you know, more salt to the wound that's already there. Heartland officials say they expect more of the 69 children in their care to become sick, but they say the prognosis for all the children is very good. We want these kids to know that they are not alone, even though that they might uh, need to be socially distancing themselves. They're in our thoughts and prayers, as are everyone across the country afflicted by this pandemic. Now, it's not just the kids that were affected at the nonprofit. Now, Heartland wouldn't give us any numbers when it comes to sick staffers, but they did tell us that any staffers that were working with sick children have been ordered to stay at home in quarantine for the next two weeks with pay, Brad. Okay, so Mike, we know it sounds like half the kids are sick. They're being basically quarantined at an off-site location. What is being done now to protect the other half of the kids uh, that are still on site? Well, the first thing they plan to do is test every single kid. That, they say, goes up and beyond the CDC guidelines. Apparently, there was a big problem because they didn't have enough tests earlier on. That, of course, made it very difficult for them to prevent this from spreading. They also say they have hired additional nurses who will be monitoring these children 24-7. Brad? All right. Michael, thank you for that.